Welcome back to another exciting episode of Flawless Plan Garage, where today we are talking once again about the Franken truck, my poorly envisioned project to convert a Duramax diesel powered three quarter ton truck to gasoline power with an 8.1 liter engine. Now today what we're trying to do is achieve the minimum viable truck. I spent a lot of years in the software industry where many times we're trying to achieve the minimum viable product. What's the least amount of work you can do to find out if a product will work in the marketplace. And we're gonna try that with the truck today where we're gonna do the, the minimum amount of work to see if this idea, if you can call it that, uh, is viable and will work for this truck. And the core idea here is can I take basically all stock components. I wanna take the ECU from the gas truck, the TCU, the transmission control unit from the gas truck, the entire engine wiring harness from the gas truck. I wanna plug all that stuff into the fuse box from the gas truck, then plug all of that into the diesel truck's body harness, then plug in the instrument cluster from the gas truck and see if this combination will actually work and fire up. Now, I'm really not sure, I haven't done much research on whether or not there are significant wiring and electrical differences uh, between like the body and the, uh, the ECM and the other computers in the truck. I'm hoping that most of the important stuff is the same. It's one of the things we're gonna find out today. I'm also hopeful that maybe the security systems in the truck will work if I use like a bunch of the gasoline truck components. We're gonna find that out too. Uh, for that matter, I'm hopeful the instrument cluster will work at all. Uh, with the body harness that it has to pass through, but there's only one way to find out. We're gonna give it a try right here, right now. So the engine is in. It's bolted up, it's bolted to the 4x4 Allison that's in the truck. I have the wiring harness mocked up. Most of the engine harness here, not most, the engine harness here is from the 8.1 liter truck. The ECU is from the 8.1 liter truck. For the moment, the TCU here as well is from the 8.1 liter truck, which was two wheel drive. I expect that this TCU will not actually work, uh, but I'm hoping that this makes the whole VIN synchronization stuff a little simpler. Everything is attached, at least temporarily here, to the fuse box. Uh, I don't have a cooling system or anything set up on the front, so no light and cooling system harness set up down here, but otherwise uh, it's connected to the body harness and this fuse box is from the diesel. So we'll see whether this works properly or not. I think, no wait, sorry, I lied. This fuse box is actually from the 8.1. Hoping that the fuses correspond better to the gas motor in this case. Then I've removed both fuel tanks. This is the gasoline tank from the 8.1 liter truck. However, that truck is an extended cab long box, so this tank will not fit, I don't believe, physically, in this crew cab, short box or regular box diesel, because the frame setup obviously is different, and I don't think this tank is gonna fit. Also, the fuel connections are different between the gas and the diesel, right? So I've got quick connects that are 3 8 and 5 16 on the gasoline tank, whereas the diesel tank, has lines that are half inch and three eighths quick disconnect. So the lines are all different. And what I'm going to do temporarily is just hook up this gas fuel tank using some lines that actually I scavenged these lines from the 94 Roadmaster that's eventually going to receive the diesel. I'm gonna hook those fuel lines up to the 8.1. The 8.1's got oil in it. Um, I do not have a cooling system, which is fine. I just want to see if it'll fire up. I also don't have an exhaust system on it. Also fine. Um, really just want to see if the computer will actually start it. I have also swapped the instrument panel over, which shouldn't matter. Uh, on these GMT 800 trucks, this stuff should not be VIN coded. But the 8.1 has a higher red line, such as it is. Uh, so I wanted to have the correct tachometer and red line from the gas truck. So, temporary fuel system hookup. I'm just gonna hot wire the fuel pump using this little eBay pigtail harness. 
just to get the fuel pump to fire. I mostly want to see if the computer will actually talk to the body control harness and fire the engine. We'll find out pretty soon. Okay, hot wiring the fuel pump. Nothing too complicated. Uh, these are both ground wires on either end of the 4-pin GM connector. One of them is the pump ground and one of them is the signal ground for the level sensor. I don't remember which one's which, doesn't matter, ground them both. Then the gray wire here is the hot wire for the fuel pump. And uh, a couple alligator clips. Boom. Fuel's pumping. And it's not, you know, spraying out, leaking anywhere. Prove it again here. Off and on. Something's happening in there. I mean, who needs fuses anyway, right? Okay, so first we're going to hook up our uh, custom fuel pump. And then we're going to take a quick attempt here. Thinks there's no fuel for some reason. No security light on though, at least at this point. See if it'll fire up. Now, oh, battery's dead from too many attempts today. Overall though, I've done what is supposed to be the key relearn procedure uh, that you have to repeat three times on the GM trucks, and it hasn't worked. Um, Despite the fact that the security light normally seems to go off the way it's supposed to during the procedure, um, it will fire up and run when the battery has enough charge in it, but it runs just for a split second and then shuts off almost immediately. All of this suggests that uh, while we have probably achieved the closest thing to a minimum viable truck not quite doing it so it fires and like seems to run okay just for a couple seconds and then it immediately shuts it off which from the best I can tell is indicative on these GM trucks of the fact that the body control computer and the engine computer and the transmission computer are not all in agreement about what should be happening uh, there is a relearn procedure that I've done several times it does not seem to have worked to get the key and the body control and the engine computer and the transmission computer all to sync up on the VIN and on the key doesn't seem to have worked. So I think I'm probably gonna have to get those modules reprogrammed. So I'll be doing a little more research on that. Otherwise, I think the fundamentals here of the swap to get the gasoline motor into the diesel chassis, uh, use the mostly gasoline wiring, the gasoline instrument cluster, and uh, what will eventually be here, like the gasoline fuel pump in the diesel tank, and some gasoline fuel lines. I think the concept's gonna work. And it fires up and ran, like I don't think there's any serious wiring problem. I think I've just got the security systems to get reconfigured correctly on this. <laughs>
good enough that I can uh, go ahead and start putting more parts on.